In this video, we will see an example on nodal analysis. If you want to see more videos, then check the playlist section of this channel. Also, if you want notes, then check the link in the bio of this YouTube channel. Question Solve for V1 in the circuit of figure using nodal analysis. So, here in this problem, we have to find the value of this voltage V1 which is the voltage across this 10 ohm resistor. Solution First of all, let's assume this is one node. Let's say it is node V1 and let's say this is a reference node and this reference node have zero voltage. Now what we have to assume? We have to assume all the currents towards this reference node. So let's say this is current I1 and this current is current I2 and this current is current I3. Now here there will be two currents. So let's say this current is I3 and this current is I4. Now we have to apply KCL at node V1. So according to KCL, here we can write according to KCL that is Kirchhoff's current law summation of all the currents entering a node is equal to summation of all the currents leaving the node. Now here we have to apply KCL. Now we will write apply KCL at node V1. So now here if we apply KCL, we have to add all the incoming currents. So at this node, incoming currents are this I1 is the entering current, I3 and I4 also entering current and this I2 is the leaving current. So we can write entering currents are I1 plus I3 plus I4. I1 plus I3 plus I4. Four. These are the entering current at this node and the current leaving from this node is I2. So here we can write it is equal to I2. Now let's write this in voltage form. So I1 will be equal to now this I1 will be equal to 20 minus V1. 20 minus V1 divided by 4. 20 minus V1 divided by 4 then plus I3. Now this I3 is 10 this voltage 10 minus V1 divided by 10. So 10 minus V1 divided by 10. Then I4. So I4 is again 10 minus V1 divided by 5. 10 minus V1 divided by 5. It is equal to I2. Now this I2 is V1 minus 0. V1 minus 0 divided by 10. V1 minus 0 divided by 10. Now here simply we have to find the value of this V1. So let's simplify this. So it will be 20 divided by 4 minus V1 divided by 4 then plus 10 divided by 10 minus V1 divided by 10 then plus 10 divided by 5 then minus V1 divided by 5. Now it is equal to V1 by 10 but if we take this on left side so it will be minus V1 divided by 10 and it is equal to 0. So this is the simplified solution. Now let's simplify this further. So first we will solve the constant term let's say. So it will be 20 by 4. So let's put all the values in calculator directly. So it will be 20 divided by 4. Then plus. So 10 by 10 is 1. So let's write as it is. Then plus 10 by 5. So these are the constant terms. So it is equal to 8. Now these terms. 
so it will be minus 1 by 4 minus 1 upon 4 then minus 1 upon 10 minus 1 by 4 minus 1 upon 10 then minus 1 upon 5 minus 1 upon 10 so it is equal to minus 13 by 20 minus 13 by 20 v1 is equal to 0 minus 13 by 20 v1 is equal to 0 so if we take this on right side so it will be 8 is equal to 13 upon 20 v1 now v1 is equal to it will be 8 into 20 so this will be 8 into 20 divided by 13 so therefore v1 is equal to it will be 8 into 20 divided by 13 so it is 12.30 12 .12 volt so let's see what we have to find in this problem we have to find v1 the voltage across this 10 ohm which is this same node voltage v1 so therefore the answer for v1 is 12.30 volt don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel also check out the other videos related to digital electronics signals and system power system and power electronics and all other videos in the playlist section of this youtube channel also check the link in the bio to get the notes of this circuit analysis don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thanks for watching